Welcome back to the first of our Mastermind semi-finals. It is time now for our fourth contender, Michael, to take on his specialist subject round. Our final contender, please. Your name? Michael Hart. Occupation? Social media and content manager. And specialist subject? The Beatles album, Revolver. Now, British music is clearly your field because you got here for your knowledge of Oasis. Um, and tonight, you're extending your reach with the classic album Revolver by the Beatles. Is this, in your mind, the must-have? Yes, in a way, especially for the Beatles, it's kind of the transition point from lovable mop tops to studio wizards. What about Oasis's claim that they were bigger than the Beatles? Well, as John Lennon said, the Beatles were more popular than Jesus Christ and you can't be more popular than that, so no. <laughs> That's a duck. But you know what? It'll stand you in good stead because we're about to start. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Michael, your time starts now. What song on which Paul McCartney plays the guitar solo is the opening track of Revolver? Taxman. Yes, which of the Beatles claimed that, ahead of Hendrix and other artists, Revolver was the first album to include backwards music? John. Yes, which instrument, at the time an unusual contribution to a pop record, was played on the song For No One by Alan Civil? French horn. Correct. The song She Said, She Said originated from a conversation between John Lennon and which Hollywood actor? Peter Fonda. Correct. What is the name of the Australian-based photographer whose work is seen on the album's cover? Robert Freeman. Robert Whittaker. Suggested by a friend of Lennon's, what is the name of the priest in the song Eleanor Rigby who is writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear? Father Mackenzie. Correct. Paul McCartney has written that the song Good Day Sunshine was influenced by the sound of which American pop group? The Love and Spoonful. Yes. Recorded over a two and a half month period at Abbey Road Studios, Revolver was released by Parlophone in the UK in which month of 1966? August. Correct. Which song on the album was written by George Harrison on the sitar and prominently features Indian instruments? Love You Too. Yes. Which artist produced the black and white collage image used on the album cover for which he won a Grammy? Klaus Vorman. Correct. The arrangement of the song Eleanor Rigby included an ensemble of how many classical string instruments? Four. Eight. At the age of just 20, who was the principal engineer of the album's recording sessions at Abbey Road? Jeff Emmerich. Correct. Which track from Revolver was included as a double A side on the single Eleanor Rigby, which was released on the same day as the album? Yellow Submarine. Correct. Which proposed name for the album was ultimately rejected on the grounds that the title had already been used? Abracadabra. Yes. Eclipsing his contribution to any previous Beatles album, how many of the tracks on the UK release of Revolver were written by George Harrison? Three. That's correct. What a great performance there, Michael. No passes and 13 correct answers.